Hi everyone and welcome to Marley's Life in Vegas. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Okay, let's kick off this channel with something very important and that is your health. Now, I'm in my 50s. My husband was in his 50s and we were very much aware of our health and our age. Not only for the move, but to enjoy a quality of life, a good quality of life. Now, sometimes, despite your best efforts, things can happen. I mean, some things are unpredictable. Unfortunately, two months after we moved here, my husband did pass away from something that was sudden and unexpected. So that's what I mean by despite your best efforts, things can happen. It's something that's inevitable for all of us. Um, death is inevitable. It's going to happen. Uh, we just try to make it happen later rather than sooner. One thing that we did not do, which I regret, was find a new doctor before we moved. I did come over to Vegas quite a bit to take care of things, close the, the closing of the house and, you know, set things up for us before we move. So everything would be ready when we get there. The one thing I didn't do was find us doctors. Now, my husband, I did find a doctor for him so he can continue to get the medical care he needed and continue to get his prescription for his high blood pressure. Unfortunately, we could not get an appointment for like a month. And we were prepared for that. We knew it would take a while. But his appointment wasn't till a week after he passed away. So he passed away. And then a week later, that's when his appointment was scheduled. Up. We were new patients and it was a longer waiting period. So we had brought enough medication because he was already on medication for high blood pressure. We had enough medication and we had everything we needed so that we can survive that one month before he saw his new doctor. Um, your insurance, will it be covered? Will it cover you in your new state? Is it so, do you have a policy where you can go outside your network? Can you afford to go outside your network? Those are all things you need to consider before even deciding to make the move. Now, it took us two years to make this move. And he did get a medical checkup, and I did two years ago. And then prior to leaving, we also got another medical checkup. And, you know, like I said, sometimes the best efforts just ain't enough. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys in this video. It's very important. Once you get the go ahead from your doctor and you have all those areas covered, then the next step on your list is to figure out how you want to live. And that's going to be covered in another video. By how you want to live means, do you want to move into an apartment? Do you want to rent a house? Do you want to buy a house? Do you want to get a condo? Do you want to get a co-op? There's a lot of things to look at when considering where you're going to live and how you're going to live because where you live affects how you live. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. And again, thank you to all my new subscribers. And this is a fairly new channel. I just started it. So I probably have less than 10 subscribers. And I love you all. So, guys, girls, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and your family. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you very much.